Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the method reference. So, uh, in this slide above three points, we have discussed with an example in previous video tutorial. Uh, right now, I am going to show you a demo on the fourth point that is saying that reference to an instance method of a particular object. So, let's go ahead and create a Java project. So here is the Java project already. So here I'm going to create another client program in this package saying that client test which will have a main method. And inside main method I'm going to create just I have pasted this code snippet. So basically I have, I have created a list and in list uh, I just I have added few names and I want to iterate uh, this list. So earlier already we have discussed so we can make use of the so to iterate list either you can use for loop enhance for loop which is a part of the I mean uh, previous version of Java 8 and you will have to iterate every elements and you can uh, print uh, every elements in this list or you may use iterator as well but if you use enhance for loop or iterator then that is considered as an external iteration and when you use for each loop which is the part of the JDK 1.8 so this is considered as a internal iterations so, and this is the more faster than I mean previous two uh, that is iterator as well as uh, enhance for loop so here I am going to show you a demo how we can iterate elements of this list using for each loop and here you can see for each loop demands you to supply a object type of consumer and this consumer interface has been declared in java.tutorial function package and here in this uh, package all interfaces are functional interfaces and in this consumer interface you can see this is annotated as the red functional interface and this is having only one abstract method except and saying that performs this operation on the given argument right so we can iterate uh, this list using consumer right so I'm going to write a lambda expression for this so x and this is lambda expression sign and here I'm going to write system dot out dot print and and here you can print value of x x is nothing but the, that this will iterate every elements of the uh, list and basically this calls internally your consumer interface and here is the method except method so basically if we have written lambda for this method and just we are passing those lambda to the for each loop and if I try to print it so successfully uh, we can print the every elements in this list but there is another way to print this list as well so here uh, names dot for each and here uh, there is a substitute for this lambda so that is nothing but the you can print elements of this like system dot out dot and here you can specify double colon and you can see the compiler is, compiler is not throwing any error means this is accepted lambda expression and if I run it then this is successfully running means and that is that is that is the demo on uh, point four reference to an instance method of a particular object so what's the system system is a class which is in java.lang package so you can see that is in java.lang package and out is a nothing but the this is reference of print stream right and finally you have a print element which is a method instance method inside the print stream so you can see this is instance method inside the print stream so we can 
we can uh, print uh, elements of list using method reference like this so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial and if come you come to the slide then these are the points we have covered in with respect with respect to method reference and last two points like three and fourth point you can club as a one but uh, for better understanding uh, usually people use system dot out double colon print in very frequently that's why i have segregated these things but uh, three three on fourth point you can club as a one now when you use meta reference then some of the things you need to uh, keep in mind there are certain limitations when you use meta reference so first limitations you can replace lambda expression with meta references where a lambda is invoking already defined method right so if you have already defined method then you can replace lambda expression with meta references now you cannot pass argument to meta reference right when you call a method reference then you cannot pass any arguments that's the limitation to use lambda and uh, meta reference make sure you have a java 8 installer on your machine they do not work on the java 7 and earlier version so these are the points you need to keep in mind with respect to meta reference and that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial